Hey folks, and welcome to part three of Drill Dozer. Uh, last part, uh, we left off. We tackled a well, we tackled the antagonist of the series, and now we're heading to the art museum because we got information that our jewel um, might be there, or the diamond um, that we're looking for might be there. So we're heading there to investigate and to see what's up. And this little scene right here kind of reminds me of the Sly Cooper games, if any of you ever played that um, before. I kind of played the Sly Cooper. I had the, um, I actually had physical copies of Sly Cooper 1 and 2, but those weren't my types of games because stealth. But, <laughs> yeah, and if you want to know the whole thing with me and stealth, go check the previous parts. I kind of, um give my history and stuff on um, stealth so I realized I went the wrong way so I need to go <laughs> and actually head the way that I need to head um, in order for me to pretty much progress with this level so but anyway um, the music in this game is okay um, nothing really um, strikes me as being you know it, the music's kind of forgettable and it's kind of sad to say as far as sticking with this game you know but it's whatever this section right here um all you have to do is the these tubes uh if i were to use a web camera you'd be seeing me do air quotes but these are ducks um all you have to do is just spin it in the well blue r for the like left trigger dig and red is for the right um so all you have to do is just spin it in the direction that you're supposed to and you'll get through these things mighty fast but these things are going to be a nightmare in the later levels uh i'll talk about that when i eventually get to it it's going to be uh it's going to be a time and a half with that one and that level i will when we get to it i'll talk about it because i have some interesting things to say about that when we eventually get to it so i hope you folks are kind of looking forward to that um you know eventually when we get to it but anyway uh i do see a drill part over there we'll get to that eventually um if you just drill this this will reveal a place where we can actually go so you have to you have to pretty much be you know thinking ahead and you got to use that brain muscle of yours because like i stated before you you don't want to miss out on upgrading any of these gears. So if, as long as you can see it if, and if it's in your eyesight, go ahead and um, see if you can capture or collect it. So I saw it within my eyesight. So I said, hey, there's got to be a way of you getting that without, you know, um, without pretty much, you know, there's got to there's just got to be a way of getting it is what I'm trying to say jeez <laughs> oh man it is um pretty late I'm recording right now it's about four in the morning I am tired um I have some more stuff that I want to record to get out of the way before I actually go uh to bed so I'm gonna be up for quite some time because um at the time of this recording Super Mario World has ended um and I am just trying to pretty much just trying to pump out these videos as fast as I can because I don't want I don't want any like um I don't want you guys to wait longer than what you have to I was actually doing good for these sprees and I want to kind of keep it that way so I am up pretty late um I have some more stuff to record and then I probably just end up sleeping all day tomorrow um which I hope I don't do because I want to get some more recording out of the way even still, even then. So we'll just see what happens. Whatever happens, happens. So, um, yeah, whatever happens, happens. But pretty much, um, it seems like I just, uh, did a complete, um, you know, a complete 160 because, uh, oh, not 160, but a complete 360 because I'm lost. <laughs> right now and I don't know what I need to be doing so that only lasts momentarily so yeah 
it seems like in a video game, like if you do that, you have to backtrack steps and it wastes your time. And man, I feel bad for those uh, police officers and any of these enemies actually that get attacked by this drill. Um, I know I stated multiple times, man, getting hit by a drill wouldn't be a good feeling. But I don't, like I say, I don't try to put logic in this kind of game. But anyway, now that I have drill 2 obtained, I can go ahead and do this part. Um, you can't do this part without having the second uh, drill up um, upgrade because it's going to make it harder for you. So uh, just head to, when you first get in this area, head to the left and then you can come here and, you know, get whatever you need. But these guys right here, um, the best way to take those guys out that I found is pretty much just drill them in the head. Uh, <laughs> and that'll take care of... Um, those guys quickly because like their front is kind of protected and it's a little harder for you uh, combos and it's a little harder for you to <laughs> to get um you know defeat them but you know if you do what i did and we'll be coming up on an annoying an annoying enemy in this part as well so um you'll be able to see that but anyway folks uh i didn't ask this the last two parts but how are you folks doing today uh you already know how i feel so <laughs> tired 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 but you know what i enjoy doing this no matter how late it is because it gives me a chance to you know instead of my crazy stuff uh self i am with the co-host with most it gives me an opportunity to be a little more laid back because man as i stated before man you get the when you with certain people you act different man and with the co-host with the most i act crazier um, my laugh is more obnoxious, uh, because I know probably some of you think that my laughter is obnoxious, and if you do think that, I agree with you. I wish I had a different laugh myself, but, um, it's just the laugh that I'm with. It sounds crazy, um, got a couple of friends who stated that my laugh is maniacal, if I'm saying that right, and menacing, um, I don't, I don't know. I just, a laugh is a laugh to me, so that's all that counts. If you laugh like a maniac, hey, maybe you got something to work on. I know I probably got some issues to work on myself, so. <laughs> and with that, we have our third drill. Third drill. Put her up. But, um, yeah, we got our third drill now, so. Uh, we can keep things consistent and stuff like that now that we have it. So, we can pretty much drill to our heart's content. Um, just to go on a bit of a tangent, um, Nintendo at the time of this recording came out with some crazy news, and it's gonna make this commentary seem dated, but I just wanted to talk about it, um, just cause. Um, basically, Nintendo has came out with, um, a Pokemon game that people was not really expecting, but it happened anyway. It was, uh, pretty much Pokemon Go for the Switch. Um, from what I was seeing in the, um, the trailer, it was Pokemon, it was Pokemon Go Pikachu and Pokemon Go Eevee or something like that. But anyway, um, it looked fantastic. Some people was, um, some people weren't happy because it still looked like Gen 7, uh, graphics and stuff like that. So, um, me, I'm kind of like meh on it until a Gen 8 is officially announced for the switch i'm not gonna really think about anything else as far as like you know this this is basically like a pokemon side game you know to me like um and then they came out with uh pokemon quest which i have no information on and i haven't even looked at it and i i don't want to look at it basically so it's not news pertaining to gen 8 and there's one more thing that I was able to look at as far as trailer wise and that is Mega Man 11 I know I've been kind of eh, about Mega Man not really spoiling it for myself but I couldn't help it the trailer drop and this new trailer drop actually and I have to say I'm impressed I'm slightly hyped for Mega Man even though I'm just kind of like rekindling my love for Mega Man and it just looked it it looked it great folks from what i've seen so far um the robot masters got three of them 
Uh, one was Fuse Man, and I can't remember the other two. And um, the new system that it has, like a Mega Man Overdrive or something like that, where he kind of like um, has gears in him, and it like manipulates time, and you know you, he can overdrive his Mega Buster, and this game is just gonna be crazy, and. I hope these long-time Mega Man fans... Oh, man. This this enemy, just to break from that tangent. This enemy is annoying. This dog is really annoying. It, it, it's like a robotic dog that had too many drugs. This thing is bouncing all over the place. It's annoying. Can't really get a good hit off of it. It won't stay still. This, this guy is one of the more annoying enemies. And let me see if I can... Basically, what you can do is, like, if you point your drill up, it'll um, bounce into it. Sometimes it, sometimes that works, and sometimes it don't. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Um, but with the, going back to the Mega Man 11 tangent, um, that game looks great. Uh, comes out in October, I believe. And the Pokemon um, comes out in November. It seems like it always comes out in November. Um... So basically, yeah, that's um, pretty much October, November is going to be a, a side of month for gamers. I don't know if any other um, games are coming out between now and October, but whatever happens, happens. Oh man, and he's talking about the screws with the robot thing. Um, that's going to come into play a little later. Um, we'll be facing a boss that's going to be dealing with that but it's it's easy so we don't really have anything to worry about but yeah this game um at first like the the first time i remember seeing um this girl jill was uh was in smash bros but i didn't know where she was from like even like the trophy information on her it explained what game she was and a little synopsis on it but i still wasn't familiar with uh jill so, um, I don't even know how I found this game, folks, um, to tell you the truth. It's like, with all the games I played, I don't even know what, um, this is from. But I'm glad, I, I am glad that I was able to find this and eventually play it. This game is amazing, even though it has its faults, and I'll go into what its faults is. But even if it has its faults, it's still a fun game to play. It really is. And I'm starting to wonder why this game didn't get you know any more mainstream than what it possibly is I don't know you know for a fact why isn't it more popular than what it is or what it should be don't know gotta ask the people at Nintendo it's been a long time now but I don't think this game has as many fans as it should but you know it's a one and done shot game and I don't if a game is good, then, you know, why not bank on it? I mean, some games are just one-hit wonders, and it's a shame that some games are like that. Um, I don't, I don't know what else is, um, I guess the Dragon Ball Adventures is a, a good example, but it's something, you know, they do have kind of a sequel on the Wii that I hopefully will be able to get to soon enough. Um, as soon as I find a copy, I have, probably have to go on Amazon in order to do so. But when I do, I'll be able to play it for you guys, and you guys can get my opinion on it. If it's anything like the um, Game Boy Advance copy. But, you know, I can't think of any other one-hit wonder games that don't have a sequel. Um, let me know in the comments. I kind of want to know. Um... And there's this hyper dog again. Yeah, you jump right into the drill, you mutt. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I don't know any other one-hit wonder games. I'm trying to think, but due to the fact that it's pretty late, I'm not able to come up with anything at the moment. So hopefully I'll be able to soon-ish. And, you know, it's just whatever at the moment. Um, we got another boss um, to go with. It's this machine right here. All you have to do is when his fists light up, it's a good time to use your drill. So make sure you do that. And then you have to unscrew the cork here. And you do that in combination. 
um, and you'll be able to take this guy out pretty quickly. Just bam right there, unscrew uh, this, Look, when it's unscrewed all the way, this guy be um, finished. I don't know if you have any like direct pattern on like beating this guy, I just try to get close to him as I can and back up when I can and hopefully you know he'll be able to strike me when he's ready so um that's kind of my strategy but it don't always work as see as I got hit right there but you know it's just whatever at the moment works works and I try to um bait this guy and he's just not up for that <laughs> but um oh man I was able to hit him I was surprised there come on just a little bit Oh man, he was almost taken out right there. Just needed a little bit of effort to take care of this guy. And there we go. This should be able to do it right here. There we go. Boom. <laughs> and that guy went sent flying. But um, it's not quite over with yet. We still have some stuff to deal with before this part actually ends. Uh, just a little kind of teaser on what we're going to be handling next um, part. And if we go here, it's the vault. And the vault is, I'll get to that when we eventually, um, when we eventually get to it. That's going to be a time and a half. But anyway, the area is clear. And we are finished um, with this section for so far, for now, anyway. But the next part, um, which will be part four, we're going to be handling, um, actually going inside the vault. And we'll see what will be waiting um, for us in there, inside the vault. But anyway, folks, that's going to do it. I'll see you in part four, where we're going to be tackling the vault. See you then.